Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Markets Tomorrow. It's a daily stock market analysis where we look at the charts and try to understand what happened in the market during the day and plan for a better trade for the next day. That's April 16, Tuesday, tomorrow, 2024. So we had a sharp sell off today. A sell off that continued from what happened on Friday with a gap down. So the question is now, is this going to extend to more corrections now? Let's try to find the answer from this study. So we'll come to this wrap up, but first we'll go to the charts. I'm just going to the play charts. I'll just switch off this. Here we have, this is what happened. So Nifty has hit resistance of last Thursday at near to 800 and then it was slipping down it formed an inside balance initially and then Friday it uh, sharply fell and today it was sharp sell up clear sharp sell up with a gap down and remember uh, yeah we, are, we were at the very peak of this bullish rally and Bank Nifty also is a similar pattern has fallen down for a second time. You can see that there is a tri star formation of a of a uh, shooting star breakdown is what is seen there uh, on the Bank Nifty clearly. It's a bearish three star pattern. And Bank Nifty also had a big gap down and it has taken an even deeper product, 1.63 percent loss. It's nearly 800 points lost in a single day with a heavy on, gap down on a Monday morning. And Nifty also has lost 250 points nearby, more than 1%. So that's where we are. If you look at the trend line channels, you can see that the inside trend line channel bottom is where we are heading towards. And the trend exponential moving average is gone on Nifty but maybe on the bank nifty. so bank nifty is just take just support just at the 2020 expansion moving average and if you also it seems like it is heading towards the bottom of that uh, inside trend line channel while it has a lot of space to move about towards 50,000 on the blue channel for where it was breaking out so bank nifty is break out from the previous all-time high it was very short length of hardly 400 points or something it did hit the 49k it breached that but couldn't sustain above that and then it happened technically right so the support resistance levels if you're studying obviously the 22800 zones of all time 22775 would be the major resistance out there but be, before that today we have a 22500 nearby gap that is formed and that will be the main resistance on the upside and uh, downside the supports could come in at uh, 20 to 100 which is a 50 expansion moving average if the 20 expansion moving average is breached and then Fibonacci 23 levels are at 21862 but before that we have 22,000 big rounding number support also that's coming on 50 Bank Nifty, uh, the major resistance would be the gap that formed today at 48,500 nearby, and then after that, 49,000 rounding number would be the major resistances. Downside, the first support could come in at 47,500, which is for the Nazi 23 replacement level for the Bank Nifty. And if the next mission moving average is breached, then 47,140 would have a 50 expansion moving average support. And then 47,000 big rolling number support can also be there. After that, it goes to the 46,500 or the 100 expansion on the average could come in. That's the support resistance of the BSE. So there is a possibility of um, another thousand points where it can hit the 100 expansion on the average if this support does not hold. Let's, having said that. We could also see that price is at a point where 
previous resistance was there that uh, breakout did happen at the zone and that way there is a possibility that you can take a support here and then bounce up specifically on bank of free we seem to take the support of the 20 expression moving average so change in priority bounce up possibility is there cannot rule out that but our it is bearish in the short term now let's go back and wrap it up so it was definitely a gap down with extended the fall and it breached to an expression moving average also formed in your hammer kind of candle below the trading expression moving average having lost 250 points in about 247 more than 1% and if this lost deeper nearly 800 791 points 1.63 and it's a wide range bearish candle but it managed to go about the trading expression moving average and it's it was trying to break out after sh sharper retracement of 8.5 percent that happened and a 27 percent of rally is what it was what was long going on the bank the breakout did not sustain up after the 49,000 and while well, nifty had had been moving up consistently you no know, under the bank even though bank Nifty was lacking behind earlier and it had not rotates too much, it is only 4.5 percent of retracement. The intro today it was kind of a gap down and then an attempt to recover and attempt that attempt failed and fall back to the same place. And then bank to fell even more for the football, the initial gap down happened. So it's sorry. Um support resistance levels and I'm talking again because we have covered that. So let's try to put in into buckets of bulls and bears puts in favor of them but those are hardly few things the higher high higher low pattern is still not breached on till the bank tree so there, there, there's another also that swing low is close by but not breached so until that breached market may still becomes all late that's what the bands are saying so it's not bearish and it's an expansion in the downside that has not happened yet. It's contraction that means sideways moves and not bearish moves is what we can you know hope for. That's the way it goes to the bulls. The bank is still taking a support near the 20 expansion moving average and we can bulls can still hope for a change in priority bounce up from there. Now what goes in favor of the pures in the short term stands out today. Because the momentum slipped, there was a 40 is breached. And 40 is not breached, there are 60, but it is bullish. And then it is breached to sideways. Still, remember, it's not bearish yet. But having lost the bullishness and falling forward the sideways zones is causing trouble with the bears as of now. Um, trend indicator ratings also has crossed over to the negative zones, team and IT. Nifty has lost the 20 expansion moving average, but bank is still made this. That wide range bearish. Candlestick is found in the Nifty. It's very, very wide range bearish candlestick. 800 points in a single day with the gap down. And the shooting star breakdown pattern may have more potentially go down. Two days continuous fall and no, no kind of nose dive move with the gap down today. It's definitely bearish. Makes a spike to 8 percent, which is um, taking it out of the lower. So it's reaching once again. It had fallen down the 11 levels now it's about 12.4 so it's spiking up and sectoral indices are all right again today all of them are right heavy weight stocks are all right but the moment of the short term is maybe in some kind of sideways even though the it is found with bear zones similarly heavyweight stocks in fear found with bear zones are well maintaining that side the sideways to bullish momentum no, more or less but the fact is it was it was across the heavy wage stocks across the sectoral indices that that you see today so it was in favor of the bears that way use indices the mother market Dow Jones has fallen nearly five percent from the top the top as dragon is in behind also has fallen somewhere around three percent from the peak so some kind of consolidation is happening some kind of retracement has already taken and it could extend further and if that happens, then it could reflect in our markets as well. There was also spiking up to around six kind of levels, although it's showing some red today. Some of the ruby is showing red and it spiked up to 83.4 and it's maintaining that very weakish levels. 
crude oil has been trying to show us a well today but it has been spiking up and it's at 85 levels and it's and it's uh, it is at the top of the trend line channel having bullish momentum so a breakout from here could not be that great for the oil in more income economies like ours gold has been breaking out on some bread is there some consolidation to retracements are seen in the charts of jenny but it had made a mega break out of nearly 15 percent above and that gives a doubt that money may be flying in from equity markets to safer hands like gold and uh, FIS will 8,000 pro sellers on Friday to another 2,300 pro sellers selling has come in again. So it's FIS that's selling here following the FBI Mauritius industry, you know, industrial policy change that has happened. Probably because of that. DS are buying to balance them more, but still market for pick. I mean, no FIS support uh, is a trouble for the market. And global queues are not the great for market, and especially with regard to the ongoing Middle East crisis, the FBI policy Mauritius change, and all of this, uh -huh. along with the weak rupee, the spiking dollar, breaking out oil, and all this, global queues are negative. And that's the reaction that you are seeing now, markets. What did the so? As for the technical charts, the market has extended the retracement for the second day with a gap down in a deeper course in the bank, especially as from bearish candlestick patterns, giving away the price momentum and the trend gains that it had made in the previous two weeks. So, the market has gone to some kind of consolidation from the expansion on the upside uh, as by the Mount Japan. So, the short term bearishness has gone to the market now, the bullishness is gone, at least for the very short term. and this is happening after two days of you no know, spam moves on both indices. So, still retracement is less than 3%. Not too much to worry about until the higher, higher, higher low patterns are breached. The market is expected to get bought in and worse and could come in uh, mm, uh, uh, is what the bulls can hope for. If that does not happen and the higher, high, higher low pattern is breached and goes back to the lower, low, low, high price action. Then you may have deeper troubles post the elections as well. So, investors, these are all banks of opportunities buying and invested long term uh, quality stocks. Or you can try to rent, get rental and computing option strategies and setups. Details of that is in the playlist. Traders, the market uh, was giving symptoms of breakout. Directional moves on the upside is now no longer there, so but you can place the non directional with uh, some carefulness on the downside. I'll wait for that confirmation of the bearishness to play the directional put side play. So, all that is in our hands is the risk, the position size is so what manage that portfolio level and trade level, have hedge positions and then play it safe. We have a lot of events that's coming. We also come. the Fed speech is coming. A lot of Fed speech outcomes. But the market will react to that. Earnings news flow is started coming this week. Middle East uh, crisis, Israel, Hamas, and all these things so, mm, are creating negative flows, news flows, and Mauritius industrial policy change is also creating problems. So market is is a trigger and weak as well. So it can be very jittery. So be careful, of course, about that. Right, have hedge pushes only, and manage risk and push size. That's all I have. Happy trading, happy learning, happy investing. Bye bye.